Mark Harmon's departure from NCIS this season has left many fans shocked. He's been the show's lead actor since it first started in 2003, and to see him leave so suddenly has been rather difficult for fans to deal with. Let's take a look at the real reason why Mark Harmon left the show, along with some other NCIS news. Why did Mark Harmon leave? Harmon's NCIS contract has always been rather different when compared to some of the other lead actors on television. Instead of signing multi-year contracts where actors would usually be hired for multiple seasons, if not for the show's entirety, Mark Harmon actually had a more special contract for NCIS. He would renew the contract for each individual season, and if we wanted to, he could just choose not to renew his contract and the show would go on without him. Harmon is now 70 years old, and it's been long rumored behind the scenes that he wants to retire. The scene for Harmon's departure had already been set by the end of the 18th season of the show, and by the fourth episode of the 19th season, Harmon finally said goodbye to the show in one of the greatest episodes the show had ever produced. Many co-stars and fans took to social media to thank him for his time on the show. He had consistently led one of the most popular shows in America, which at times was the most popular show in America. However, he still signed a limited episode contract for season 19, which means that there is still a possibility for him to return for an episode or two this season. If he does, it'll probably be the season finale. What does his departure mean for NCIS? Obviously, the loss of the show's main character has sent shockwaves across the NCIS storyline and the show itself. The popularity of the show is sure to take a hit at a time when network television across the board is seeing a rapid decline in ratings, with many shows, including NCIS, hitting ratings lower than they've ever seen before. This can only mean trouble for the already aging show. The first episode of season 19 saw 8.45 million viewers tune in. However, the latest episode of NCIS only had around 7.32 million views. This is only slightly higher than the episode before that, which had 7.28 million viewers. The 50,000 extra viewers are not enough to offset the millions of viewers the show has lost over the years. Season 19 is the least viewed NCIS season of all time. This mainly has to do with the intense competition that network TV has to deal with from the likes of Netflix, HBO Max, Disney Plus, and all sorts of other streaming services. Overall, NCIS used to average around 20 million viewers an episode at its peak, but it hasn't even seen over 10 million viewers since the second episode of season 8. With Mark Harmon gone from the show, things are only looking to get worse from here. What if Harmon had left earlier? As it turns out, this isn't the first time Mark Harmon had wanted to leave NCIS altogether. In fact, in 2007, during the show's fourth season, Mark Harmon was pretty much done with anything related to NCIS. Looking back at reports from 2007, Mark Harmon was almost constantly butting heads with the showrunner at the time. Donald Belisario, who had been leading the show since it first began, since Harmon was also an executive producer on the show from the very beginning, he also had some leverage over the showrunner because of his star power. In the end, he told CBS to make a decision, and that either he would stay on the show or Donald Belisario would stay. CBS chose Harmon, and Belisario was quickly booted off the show and replaced with Floyd Johnson and Shane Brennan as the showrunners while Belisario remained an executive producer with no writing or directing powers. It didn't damage the show's popularity one bit, and in fact, it only made the show more popular over time. I guess Mark Harmon knew what he was doing at the time. The NCIS Franchise NCIS still remains CBS's most successful scripted show after The Big Bang Theory. Clearly, they haven't given up on NCIS just yet, despite the falling ratings. The franchise has gotten a new show on their hands after the end of NCIS New Orleans earlier this year. NCIS Hawaii just started airing in September of 2021, and it, for the first time in an NCIS show, has a female lead character. Vanessa Lackey takes on the role of Jane Tennant, who happens to be the first woman to be in charge of NCIS's Hawaii operations. While it was certainly an interesting premise, although hardly an original one, the show's very first episode received a lot of mixed reviews. Fans just weren't excited to see most of the supporting characters on the show, and if there's anything NCIS is generally good at, it's supporting characters. The show's quality improved over time, but by then, fans had already moved on to other shows. It hasn't been doing too well in the 
ratings department as of late, at least by NCIS standards, but when compared to other network shows, it seems to be doing just fine. It seems like CBS will be milking NCIS as much as they can until they squeeze the last penny out of it. This approach has killed numerous shows before, and we certainly hope it doesn't happen again. NCIS LA continues to perform well, although not nearly as well as it used to, which is given considering even the main NCIS show struggles with ratings. CBS's annoying way of trying to get fans to watch the Hawaii series. As we've mentioned, the NCIS Hawaii ratings weren't as good as CBS was expecting them to be, but they've already invested too much money into the show, and they still obviously want it to be a success. However, they've taken a rather annoying approach towards trying to get fans to actually watch it. During NCIS commercial breaks, when the break eventually ends, instead of coming right back to the show, CBS decided to add entire scenes of NCIS Hawaii for fans to sit through. This decision by CBS has been met by a lot of flack, since if NCIS fans actually wanted to see the Hawaii series, they'd do it themselves. They did this exact same thing with the show FBI. When a commercial break during FBI would end, it would lead to an entire scene from FBI International. Overall, fans are pretty tired of this approach, since it seems just a little bit too forced, even for the likes of CBS, who haven't been shy about forcing shows down fans' throats in the past. The end of NCIS Los Angeles? With the original NCIS still facing the fallout of Mark Harmon's departure, and the new NCIS Hawaii show being pretty much forced down everyone's throat, it almost seems like CBS has forgotten about the other NCIS show they have, NCIS Los Angeles. NCIS LA is the most successful spin-off from the entire franchise. At one point, it was pulling ratings that no spin-off from any show had ever seen before. Even now, NCIS Los Angeles is the highest rated spin-off from the franchise, showing a much better performance than its Hawaii sibling show. However, it really seems like CBS does not want the show to continue anymore. The showrunner, R. Scott Gamill, recently hinted that the show might just end in the very near future. He revealed that the end of the show is something that his team has already thought of, and that he doesn't exactly know how long the show has. It all really depends on CBS. He said that he just hopes the show's writers are given a heads up before CBS actually pulls a trigger, so that they have enough time to give all of the show's characters before it finally ends. Having been on the air for over 13 years, the end of NCIS Los Angeles would truly be the end of an era for the franchise. The last three episodes. Some fans were actually looking forward to a fresh start to their favorite show after Harmon's departure, and episode 5 showed us a glimpse of what it might be like. Face the Strange seemingly picks up as if nothing really happened. The episode concerns the mysterious death of a Navy officer, whose body blows up before it could be buried. Overall, the episode was fine, but nothing to write home about. The following episode, however, was straight up boring. It starts where the previous episode left off, and the show simply didn't feel the same for most fans. It wasn't a horrible episode by any means, but it certainly does not live up to the expectations we have from NCIS. As for episode 7, it's certainly an improvement over the previous two episodes, and it actually received a very small bump in viewership as well. Most fans expected a quality bump after Harmon's departure, but if the show keeps improving as it did during episode 7, it might just be able to survive the fallout. That is a wrap for the real reason why Mark Harmon left NCIS. Do you think the show can survive without him? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.